Utah sits right atop a major fault line, and the recent devastation in Japan has many re-examining their level of preparation for a major disaster. So how prepared is your business, and how can you get better prepared? Joining us today is Ryan Longman, Be Ready Utah Manager in the Division of Homeland Security. Ryan, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So I think the first question we should start with is, uh, can you give us a grade? How prepared are businesses in Utah for the big one that we all hear is coming all the time? You know, our biggest concern mostly is with the small to medium-sized businesses. Uh, you know, you see large businesses, and they have people who deal with disaster preparedness at a full-time level. Uh, but when you get down to the small and medium-sized level, they really don't have uh, the affordability to, to, to give somebody that full-time mm -hmm. position to, to make sure that there's a disaster plan in place. And so that's really where the focus should be, is making sure that our small and medium-sized businesses are thinking about disaster planning and making sure that they have a simple but disaster plan. So it's not the biggest worry for a small business. It's not at top of mind anyway. And for medium-sized businesses, they were just small businesses. So they're not thinking about it quite yet, but they should be. Tell me about the downtown area. You've got a lot of employees concentrated into a small place. Does that pose particular challenges? It does. It, it does pose a, a particularly big challenge because you've got not only a lot of businesses located downtown and a lot of people, um, but you have not as many first responders to handle all of those people and you've also got a lot of high-rise buildings to evacuate and where do you put all those people and so we we do have an issue with downtown uh, evacuation and actually our emergency management teams downtown uh, Salt Lake are working with the mayor and working with other the first responders on getting a downtown evacuation plan started for Salt Lake City I, d I think there are a lot of people who work downtown that maybe just never think about where would I go in the case of an emergency so that's certainly something that uh, sounds like it's being addressed and needs to be addressed. You brought with you a couple of tips um, that we're talking about, especially in the event of whether it's an earthquake or some other natural disaster, things that businesses should be ready. You've, you've narrowed it down to three points, so I want to go through those. The okay. first thing you say is have a plan. Exactly. Um, you know, one thing that, one statistic that we do know is that uh, over 50 percent of businesses who experience a disaster and have to shut down actually never reopen. A lot of that is due to not planning. And so the most important thing you can do, number one, is to have a plan. Uh, you know, it's not, it's not rocket science. It's just taking simple steps to making sure that you've asked the what-if questions. Uh, you know, what if we couldn't communicate with each other, with our employees, with our suppliers, with our vendors, and with our customers? Those are the kind of things you need to plan for, making sure that you can communicate. Uh, there are other, other things in your plan. Um, ought to include things like an evacuation plan. Uh, it's funny how many times we ask businesses, when was the last time you had an evacuation plan? And they really can't remember when the last time was. And so important to have a good, solid evacuation plan inside of a plan. Uh, something else that's quite important uh, is establishing your critical business functions. What is most critical to getting your business back up and running? If you experience a disaster, the first thing you're going to want to do is get your doors open right away. Uh, and you need to know what are the most critical functions uh, to, to get that, th those doors open. Maybe not getting everything up and running right away is the most important, but getting, being able to get up and functional uh, is, is key. And so those are just a few things that ought to be in an emergency disaster plan for a business owner. Uh, I'd say at the chamber we uh, have our fire drill once every three or four months, so everyone in this building at least knows how to get out. Uh, the second thing on your list, get a kit. What, what's in the kit and why is it important to have one? Well, it's very important to have one. You know, we all talk about having kits at home, having a 72-hour kit for your family, but most of us very well could be at work uh, uh, during a large event such as an earthquake uh, or, or wildfire or an evacuation of some sort. We need to have a 72-hour kit in our workplace as well. We recommend that businesses have one 72-hour kit per five employees. And the things that you should find in the 72-hour 72 72-hour 72 kit are, are very similar to those things you'd find at home. Food, water, you want to be able to stay warm, uh, and you want to be able to have clean air. Um, so when it comes to uh, something that might be in the air, you've got something to, to make sure the air is clean. And the third thing on the list is practicing the plan. So going back to that plan, it's important to have it, but it's important to put it in practice. Right. The worst disaster plan is the one that's written and then put on a shelf. Um, everybody in the company needs to know what the disaster plan is, including new employees who are hired, uh, and everybody needs to be able to practice the plan. Um, if, you, if you've written a great plan but no one knows what to do um, when everything goes down, um, you know, the most important part to planning, actually, is making the plan. Um, you know, getting everybody talking and knowing what they're going to do. That's really what's going to help you as you go in and, and practice your plan to, uh, to make sure things are going to work the way you've written them out to work. For businesses that are now uh, reassessing their, pre their preparedness, uh, where are some resources that they can find? How do they get from the state of not being ready to being ready? 
we've got a lot of great resources in the state. BeReadyUtah.gov uh, is an excellent resource. We do have a business link uh, that businesses can go on, get some good tips and ideas on how to prepare. Uh, there are also other links like ready.gov slash business uh, where you can find some excellent information on how to create a plan, some good templates on, you know, for those people who, who don't necessarily do disaster planning for a living but have been given that task. Ryan Longman is the Be Ready Utah Manager in the Division of Homeland Security. Ryan, thanks so much for taking some time. Thanks for having me.